We talked about the classification of matter based on states previously. In this video, we discuss how scientists classify matter based on composition. Matter is classified as pure substances and mixtures based on composition. So now the question is, what is a pure substance? A pure substance is the one which contains only one single type of matter. It cannot be broken down into simpler substance because it is only having one type of matter. For example, copper, oxygen, mercury and so on. Most of the matters around us exist as mixtures that are made of more than one type of pure substance. These mixtures can be separated into individual pure substance by some physical process. For example, lemonade, salt and sand. The mixture itself are of two types, homogeneous and heterogeneous. Homogeneous mixtures are that mixtures that form a uniform composition throughout the solution. For example, sugar and salt. Heterogeneous mixtures, on the other hand, are the one that has physically distinct part and have a non-uniform composition. For example, oil and water, salt and sulfur. So the next term is solution. What is a solution? A solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substance. For example, a solution of a lemonade or a soda water. A solution has two distinct parts or two distinct components, a solute and a solvent. Solute is the one that is present in a smaller quantity and dissolves itself in the other component. Solvent, on the other hand, is the one which is present in the larger quantity and dissolves the solute in it. Solutions are present in all three states of matter. In solids, solutions are present as alloys. In liquid, as we discussed above, as lamellae, and in gaseous state, as an air. <coughs> So the next one is the properties of the solution. One of the most important property of the solution is its homogeneity at the particle level. That is, the solution will be same throughout. For example, the lemonade tastes the same throughout. The next important property is the nano size of the solution. Particles in the solution are smaller than 1 nanometer in diameter, so they cannot be seen through the naked eye. The next property is there is a no light scattering. Because of the nano size, the particles do not scatter a beam of light passing through the solution. So, the path of light is not visible in a solution. The solute particles cannot be separated from the mixture by the process of filtration or sedimentation because they are quite uniform throughout. So the solution is stable. Homogeneous mixture. Depending upon the amount of solute present in a solution, the solution can be called as diluted or concentrated. As the name suggests, Dilute is something which has less amount of solute and concentrated means you have a more amount of solute in solution. They are a comparative terms. The homogeneous mixture can also be classified as saturated and unsaturated solution. A saturated solution is a concentrated solution that has dissolved as much solute as possible at any particular given temperature. The amount of solute present in a saturated solution at, its, at this temperature is known as solubility. That means it can no longer dissolve any more solute in it. That's a saturated solution. 
On the other hand, if the amount of solute contained in the solution is less than the saturation level, then the solution is termed as an unsaturated solution. <clears throat> the next term is the concentration of a solution. Concentration of a solution is the relative amount of solute and a solvent in a solution. Out of various ways to express this concentration of solution, two of them are mass by mass percentage of solution and mass by, mass by volume percentage of a solution. Where you can see that we are taking the mass of solute out of solution to get the percentage of it. It's basically a fraction. Next, we talk about the heterogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous mixture can be classified into suspension and collidon. A suspension is a heterogeneous mixture in which the solute particles do not dissolve but remain suspended throughout the solution. Particles of a sol collide or colloidal solution are uniformly spread throughout the solution due to the relatively smaller size of particle as compared to that of a suspension, the mixture appear to be homogeneous. So, though it is a heterogeneous mixture, as it is more of a uniformly spread throughout the solution, it appears to be a homogeneous solution. This was all about the classification tree of matter, specifically the mixtures. Don't forget to look at our next video in which we talk about different methods to separate individual components from mixture. Good luck! And this was Concept Bits by Online Pachala. Subscribe now to get the latest updates from Online Pachala. Thank you.